segment of the show for today. The topic is, the topic is drug prevention, grants, and business, and we're talking to uh, Ms. Greenlee and uh, Ms. Fletcher. And uh, Ms. Uh, Fletcher, let's pick up with you. I think Ms. Greenlee was giving us some information about some of the characteristics mm -hmm. of a peel that is known as x peel, but and we'll get back with her uh, later on. But mm -hmm. we want to give you an opportunity up front on this uh, segment to uh, uh, continue our conversation in reference to some of the things that we're doing here and, and, and some of the problems that we're facing. Well, I think a great deal, just as, you know, Clemmie has talked about, um, we need to talk more about the issues that our young people face mm -hmm. and, and actually give them a voice, you know, mm -hmm. instead of always talking at them, talk to them, talk with them, having those mm -hmm. conversations mm -hmm. that um, they're letting us know the things that impact them. It's like mm -hmm. getting to the root mm -hmm. of what the things that they may be facing. Sometimes we can think that economic issues are up here, mm -hmm. but in reality, we don't know mm -hmm. from a day-to-day -day basis how it makes a young person feel and mm -hmm. what, how it impacts their emotions mm -hmm. and things of that nature. So um, a lot of what we do and a lot of what we talk about even in, in joining forces mm -hmm. is to not just talk about what's happening mm -hmm. and what's going wrong, um, but actually giving them an opportunity to help mm -hmm. with the, um, the solutions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. at the same time, bringing organizations together like Clemmie's, mm -hmm. like mine, like few other people that we are working closely together to build resources. Because mm -hmm. it's one thing to say to a, a child that's at risk, mm -hmm. um, you need to stop doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's another to give them an opportunity mm -hmm. to make a change, giving mm -hmm. them an opportunity to where they can see hope that mm -hmm. can hope that can actually be realized mm -hmm. and sometimes that's just the the missing part it's one thing mm -hmm. to say mm -hmm. stop doing drugs stop selling drugs mm -hmm. it's another thing to give them an, an opportunity to see how mm -hmm. they can survive mm -hmm. it's amazing to talk to a child when as a child you're thinking to yourself you're going to think like a child you're going to do the things that mm -hmm. kids do. Mm -hmm. It breaks my heart when you talk to children that are talking like they're adults, mm -hmm. like they have this means of, I need to carry this gun, I need to work to mm -hmm. survive and put food on the table. Okay, as a child, I look to my mom and mm -hmm. <laughs> my dad mm -hmm. to do that, mm -hmm. but we have kids yeah. nowadays carrying on adult issues, mm -hmm. and then you have to stop and ask yourself why. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lot mm -hmm. of what we're doing is to come to that the reasons mm -hmm. why, but then at the same time, flipping it to where it's not just mentoring kids mm -hmm. from here down, but they're teaching us some stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know, one of the things mm -hmm. that, that, mm -hmm. that uh, I'd like to push this uh, as a point here, because this is the second part of that uh, topic, and that is the grants. Now, let's talk about some of the grants that, uh, some of the resources that are available to help uh, fight uh, this uh, violence, uh, drugs, or whatever. What are some of the grants that are available? And where, where do you get these grants from? Well, the majority of the grants that help fight the violence and um, the prevention mm. is coming from uh, CDC, the Juvenile Court, the uh, Health Department. Mm. Uh, and, it, and it, you know, it's, it's not easy to get. Mm. You know, you, you, you have a, 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 a category of, of people that can really apply mm. for the grant. Now, mm. you know, along myself, I have applied for it when, when you know, I haven't got the one that I really want to get. Mm. But you, you really have to have, um, it, it's not what you call stereotyping, but you don't really have the... The, the the mindset of mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. that, that's around your table that mm -hmm. really just qualify for writing mm -hmm. what you want to write. You have to be careful. Like, just say what I want to write my grant for is grassroots. Okay. I want to start from the grassroots and go to the projects to the hood and do my work. Mm -hmm. I don't want to start my work in, in a public school mm -hmm. or a corporate business. And so I, I won't qualify for that. Because for one, the reason I won't qualify for it because they'll be too scared mm -hmm. that I am I'm gonna clean up the projects. Mm -hmm. I am gonna clean up the hood. Well, well, why would that? Would that be? They would object to that. I mean, oh, yeah. Come on, come on. You know. You, I mean, explain that uh, to you me. Know, you know, well, you, you're giving me. You, you want to give me these grants? You know, if you're giving these grants to these corporate businesses. Mm -hmm. The corporate businesses are getting, they got $1.5 million to clean up the streets to stop the violence. Well, you got what, from 8 to 4 to do that. Mm 
Mm -hmm. 8 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock. And you're doing it behind the desk and you're doing it behind the computer. Mm -hmm. And then you're closing up. So you're not cleaning up nothing. So that means you ain't going to never meet the numbers mm -hmm. that you're supposed to meet. And you'll keep on getting that grant. Mm -hmm. You get that grant to me, then I'm cleaning up the streets 24-7. Well, then I done cleaned up the streets in six months. Now you're not going to give me that grant back. Mm -hmm. Because now I don't stop the system's money. Mm -hmm. I don't stop the government's money that they're putting mm -hmm. behind. Because wait a minute. She actually cleaned up the street for mm -hmm. real. She actually came into school and cleaned it up for real. Now, we can't give her that grant. But you're going to keep giving it to mm -hmm. the corporate business because you know they can't. They're not even going to come to the hood. Mm -hmm. They're not even going to come and sit in, in, in this um, gang-banging uh, 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 territory with mm -hmm. me. But you just got this $1. million grant. Mm -hmm. So why won't you just trinkle some money down no, over here mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. and let me stay out here? Because I tell people all the time, you guys close at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock. The library closed at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. The centers closed at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay, from that time on up until 3 in the morning, morning. I have them. Mm -hmm. So that means you don't have, I don't have anything I can call. I don't have a fund set over there that I can go get right quick to mm -hmm. keep them satisfied from 10 p.m. until 1 a.m. Because mm -hmm. they out there. So why you want to always just keep it in a box? Because mm -hmm. you don't really, really want to stop crying. Mm -hmm. One thing I reason I know that they, they really don't want to stop crying because look at Salem Town. Mm -hmm. They turned Salem Town into Germantown. They cleaned it up less than a year. So they stopped it over there and Salem, took over. Now explain that Salem I mean, Town. I mean, I think that's a, a low, sort of local kind of situation, but it, what you're saying here over is... Over here on 5th Avenue okay. North, 6th Avenue North, over here by the Smith Brothers Friend Home. Uh -huh. That was Salem Town. I grew up there. There was uh -huh. number the hood, gangster, violence, drugs, mm -hmm. prostitution. I was in it. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, they cleaned it up, took over the property, bought out everybody, everybody sold out. Mm -hmm. And they came in there and they built up condominium, yeah, five-star mm -hmm. restaurants, and took everybody, all the black males to jail, put mm -hmm. the mothers on, on uh, welfare, took mm -hmm. half the kids away to, to children's, children's service. And now all of a sudden, it's yeah. a five-star German town yeah. that we can't even go back over there mm -hmm. without getting arrested. You got a black female riding around looking suspicious. Let's get her. Chumps, come on, get mm -hmm. real. Don't nobody want to even talk about that. Okay, hold, hold a minute, uh, uh, Don't Ms. Green. We, we, we we're going to get you started again, <laughs> but, but we have to stop for uh, our second <laughs> commercial break. But, uh, yeah, we want to get you started. We want to uh, continue this, and, 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 and we're going to uh, stop. Okay. for this uh, second commercial break and we'll come back but uh, that's almost amazing because I know of that transformation mm -hmm. and I know of the new uh, facilities that mm -hmm. are going up there mm -hmm. but what you're saying here is that when it was Salem Town mm -hmm. uh, there was a different attitude that mm -hmm. the uh, government took toward it and now since it's Germantown mm -hmm. uh, with mm -hmm. all of the uh, five-star hotels mm -hmm. yeah okay we're gonna uh, continue our conversation we'll be back with our audience following this very very short commercial break mm -hmm. 